What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Melo. Now, what did I say about Kanye, hmm? Huh? Didn't I tell y'all this man was a divisive ass demon? Now you got Kanye up here praising Adolf Hitler? Go ahead and check this out. Nazi, you don't deserve to be called that and demonized. Well, I I see I I see good things about Hitler also. The Jew I love everyone, and Jewish people are not gonna tell me you can love um you know us. And you can love what we're doing to you with the contracts. And you can love what we're, you know, what we're pushing with the pornography. But this guy that invented highways, invented the very microphone that I use as a musician, you can't say out loud that this person ever did anything good. And I'm done with that. I'm done with the classifications. Every human being has something of value that they brought to the table, especially Hitler. Let's not forget, this is the same man who said slavery was a choice, right? The same man who said white lives matter, right? Mm. Okay. Now, if all that wasn't bad enough, Kanye went online and said he's sticking by Balenciaga. The same company that promoted child pornography, right? And this is what Kanye had to say. Never turn our backs. Denma and the Balenciaga family for life. Cancel, cancel culture. Jesus, please heal. He then goes on to say, I stand by Balenciaga and denounce all witch hunts and I cancel, cancel culture. Jesus is king and in trafficking doesn't start or end with the fashion company for Christ's sake. Now, what did I say in my last video about him? That actions speak louder than words. I knew something was up when I still saw him wearing those Balenciaga boots. You can't say you're against something and still wear and support it. Now, what I find interesting is that Balenciaga had no problem dropping Kanye in a heartbeat when he went on his anti-Semitic rant. But yet, here he is defending a company so boldly that wants nothing to do with him. But wait. Let me guess, this is all a part of Kanye's plan, right? Because y'all swore up and down Kanye had a master plan and was a genius for getting out of all his contracts. Kanye is not a genius. He is a very sick man who at 45 years of age acts like he's above any and everybody. Make no mistake, Kanye coming out and supporting Balenciaga lets me know that he does very well, in fact, support child pornography. Allegedly, damn it. You know what? I gotta keep my foot on his ass. Like, there's just no other option at this point. My foot is on Kanye's ass like stank on doo-doo. I am so tired of this man. Like, I am sick and tired. Y'all better get him. And y'all better get him before I do because I'ma hurt his feelings. This don't make no sense. Like, this does not make no sense. Now, in other black news, Jay Williams is calling on Jerry Jones to denounce racism. For those of you who don't know, a photo of Jerry Jones as a teen resurfaced online with him with a group of white segregationists. Go ahead and check out what Jay Williams had to say. I just want to specifically ask Jerry Jones to denounce racism. I think it's very important with where we're at in this time in history right now. I didn't hear him do that with Colin Kaepernick. His silence was heard all over the country as related to George Floyd. And here was another opportunity where, frankly, Stephen A., I felt like his answer felt to me it was above approach, right? He was, he was above the matter. In the end, we will remember the, not the words of our enemies, but the silence of our friends. Mm -hmm. it's Jerry Jones, our friend. I think that's very important. And I say that because I don't condone the 14-year-old kid or not, like I agree with you, we're on the same page, 14 year old kid, curiosity. But sometimes in life, there's good people and there's bad people. Now, you even had LeBron James come out and ask reporters why they weren't holding Jerry Jones accountable like they did Kyrie Irving. Check this video out. I was wondering why I haven't gotten a question from you guys about the Jerry Jones photo. But when the Kyrie thing was going on, you guys were quick to ask us questions about that. Okay. Um, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. And I don't even want you guys to say nothing. When I watched Kyrie talk and he says, I know who I am, but I want to keep the same energy when we're talking about my people and the things that we've been through. And that Jerry Jones photo is one of those moments that our people, black people, have been through in America. And I feel like as a black man, as a black athlete, as someone with power and a 
platform. I keep telling y'all, we as black people do not have the power or the structures to make demands on anybody. And I know that it's not fair and I know that it's not right, but don't you know that you can't teach an old dog new tricks? That man is not going to come out and denounce racism because he is in fact racist. Allegedly. And let me say that again. I said allegedly. I ain't finna have that white man come and sue me, child. Look, I ain't got that kind of money. I have to do something strange for a little piece of change to get out of that lawsuit. But I mean, is anybody really surprised? That was the times that Jerry Jones lived in. Only difference is back then they could do it out in the public and be bold about it. Now they have to be smarter and hide how they really think. Instead of seeking a white man's approval and asking for them to apologize, how powerful would it be if the conversation was let's do a basketball boycott. No black players play basketball for a whole season. Do you know how impactful that would be? I mean, look at what the Montgomery bus boycott did. It lasted 381 days and ended up with the Supreme Court ruling segregation on public buses unconstitutional. They hit them where it hurt their pockets. And I mean, who better else to lead this boycott than LeBron James himself? But you want to know the sad truth? It won't happen because black people do not know how to stick together anymore. And I mean, what do I know? These are just my black man thoughts. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if that's okay too. But whether you give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down, go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this video. What do you think of Kanye coming out and supporting Balenciaga? Do you think Jerry Jones will denounce racism? And as always, if you're not already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel as I am on the journey to 100 subscribers. I hope everyone has a great rest of their day and I'll catch you all on the next video.